Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, and today we're going to do a quick character showcase on the new Hiyori, the past version. And for this video, it's going to be a little bit of a different format. I'm not going to do face cam because I want you guys to focus entirely on the gameplay, so you'll have to wait to see my pretty ass face till the next video. Uh, and I'm going to minimize like all the numbers talk and stuff like that, because I feel like that kind of... Uh, it's, it's an obsolete thing these days because there's so many different builds you could do, so many different varieties of accessories, so many hybrid versions. So I'll just tell you the general build I'm running in the gameplay. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get started. We'll take a quick look at her uh, numerical data, just real quick. She's a Technique green character with the affiliation Soul Reaper. Uh, her killer is Captain, which is good for PvP and boss fights. And she does have an upgraded soul trait of 25 strong attack damage, which is perhaps the most attractive thing about this character. Uh, statistically, she is definitely geared for strong attack damage. She has a very high spiritual pressure of 735. The attack is okay and the rest of the numbers are okay as well, but pretty standard uh, strong attack character. Now the 6 star upgrades, she does have Frenzy, which uh, goes well with her 735 SP, but she also has uh, a new upgrade called Paralyzing Spirit, and this adds the paralysis effect to her special. And the special, it seems to last a very long time, as you'll see in the gameplay uh, a little bit later on. Okay, so let's move on now to her normal attack string. Her normal attack string is pretty basic. It's a four hit melee combo. Nothing really to point out about it. It has decent range. It has about average speed. It's not really one of her main tools, but it is a pretty decent normal attack damage string. Next up is her first strong attack, and it does four hits. It's a dash forward. It has pretty good spread out to the sides. Uh, the range is a little bit short, but it will still get you into the middle of a pack of mobs so you can uh, do other things. Now, strong attack number two is a six hit move, but it also has a chance to apply paralysis, which is great because the paralysis, if it procs, it lasts a very long time. But other than that, it's a pretty standard uh, second strong attack. She moves forward a little bit and uh, the damage comes in two parts. So she'll hit once, uh, move forward, and then hit again. And the total hits is six. So on to the third strong attack. And this one, guys, is very unique, at least from a visual standpoint. Uh, she does a dash forward through the enemy and then she turns around and hits them again. Uh, the total hits is six hits. It covers a pretty wide area. But uh, more importantly is it moves you. So it's not just a, you know, area of effect centered around her body. Like when you use the strong attack, you'll end up quite a bit forward from where you started. And that can be useful if you're trying to uh, position yourself in certain ways. So like you don't end up uh, where you started basically is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I found that during testing, you know, if you face the wrong way from the enemies and you fire this thing off, she'll still hit for the full six hits, even if uh, the second half of the attack is the only thing that, uh, that makes uh, contact with the enemy. Um, if I'm wrong about that, guys, uh, let me know in the comments, but that's the way it appeared from the place that the playtesting I did. And finally, let's take a look at her special. Her special does apply paralysis, and it hits four times. And guys, if you watch how long this paralysis lasts, it seems to last a very long time longer than a normal paralysis special, even with debilitator. So maybe that's due to the fact that it's a uh, specific six star upgrade. I don't know, I didn't actually time it. So um, if you have any info on that, let me know in the comments. Okay, so now we're on to the actual gameplay and we're in the uh, Shunsui five star legendary raid and I'm built right now for pure strong attack damage. I have full plus 25 strong attack damage links. So it's a pretty big increase to her strong attacks. As you can see, she is wiping the floor with these mobs. Her normal attacks uh, that you see there are obviously not going to hit for you know, any significant damage, but um, what you want to look for in this footage is the strong attack damage. And pretty much every strong attack wipes out a pack of mobs. It's very good damage. It's almost too much uh, strong attack damage that she can't even really use it all because um, everything dies before you can actually see every hit. So, I mean, for... For raids, you may not want to go pure strong attack damage. It's a little bit of overkill. Um, you're probably better off mixing in a little bit of recharge with, say, a uh, Frenzy Byakuya Link or a Frenzy uh, uh, Yoruichi Link. Um, but for the harder, for the harder uh, missions in the game, like Extreme Co-op or Inheritance Zone, strong attack damage will be a good build to go with. Uh, the only problem is, as with all pure strong attack damage builds, uh, you do have some downtime. 
uh, if you burn all your strong attacks in rapid succession. And also another drawback, obviously, is the uh, really weak normal attack damage. But overall, this character really did surprise me. Uh, she does, she does hella damage, guys. Uh, the range and spread on all her strong attacks is very good. Uh, I do like the third strong attack, the uh, the look of it. It, it. It's very unique. The one where she dashes through the enemy and then turns around and hits them again, uh, facing the other way. And I did some testing with that strong attack, uh, and I mentioned this in the uh, move set part of the video, that even if you're facing the the wrong direction, she'll still turn around and. Uh, hit the enemy for the full six hits. And there you see the special paralysis. Uh, right now, uh, the boss is paralyzed, and you can see he's not launching his special. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, why I'm on this side. I think I thought he was going to launch his special, but there you see, he's, he was paralyzed that whole time. And uh, we'll just finish him off with another special. So the damage... Strong attack damage build is amazing, guys. Um, probably overkill for a normal raid. Okay, so the second build I want to show off is the Strong Attack Damage, Strong Attack Recharge Hybrid. We're in the 5-star Legendary Ichigo raid for this, and um, this build is very efficient, guys. Um, I really do like the added recharge so I can minimize the downtime, and the damage is still very top tier. Um, you can still wipe out, wipe out packs of enemies on uh, one Strong Attack, or, you know, if they survive, they'll be very close to death, so... Um, this is probably more of a practical build for this character. Um, I did, I did do uh, this fairly quickly. Um, you know, it's, it really comes down to a matter of your personal playstyle. Uh, you know, if you prefer recharge, go with recharge. If you prefer pure strong attack damage, go with that. Uh, you really can't go wrong. I don't recommend any other types of like normal attack damage build or normal attack hybrid. It's not really what this character is uh, designed for. So. Um, but then again, you know, you play the game you want to play it. <laughs> the, you play the game the way you want to play it. Excuse me. <laughs> I can't speak. And um, if you're missing the the information on my de the details of my builds, um, maybe I'll add it at the end. But I, I don't think that giving you the details of my accessories and my links is as important these days. Because like I said in the beginning... There are so many options to how to build characters now. You can go strong attack with no focus, strong attack with focus. You can mix in recharge with strong attack damage character links. There's just so many options that it's really um, kind of obsolete to just do pure uh, strong attack damage, you know, strong attack uh, recharge, uh, normal attack damage builds. And as you can see, the special right here, um, look how long this thing lasts, guys. Uh, you know, if you can't kill the boss in that period of time, uh, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, this character is a great boss killer. Um, great strong attack damage. Crowd control is excellent as well, if you go with a little bit of recharge. So, guys, that's pretty much it for this character showcase. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to keep, uh, you know, the numbers and, like, the, uh, you know, the, the, the meta gameplay kind of out of this video so you could look at the uh, actual gameplay and focus on the actual mechanics. So thanks for watching once again. Give me your feedback, guys, as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.